Endowed with abundant natural resources but torn by recurring conflict, the ARMM has been a story of unmet aspirations and a disillusioned people. The referendum in Muslim Mindanao basically asks, does the BOL represent a new hope or old promises? Bim Santos with the story. For so long, Mindanao has been called as the land of promise, and for so long, it has remained largely just that, a promise. A promise that has remained unrealized for the country's second largest island with billions of dollars worth of mineral deposits, but with a region that is the poorest in the Philippines. That region is the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao, which has for decades been plagued by armed conflict. As of last year, ARMM has the highest poverty incidence with per capita income in the region six times less than the national average. The people of ARMM is also the most susceptible to price shocks. Last December, the region continued to have the highest inflation rate at 7.5%, more than double the rate in the Cordilleras. With the Bangsamoro Organic Law promising greater autonomy and more revenues, the National Economic Development Authority sees an opportunity for both the public and private sector in the region. Given that uh, um, the uh, uh, region will uh, experience a uh, uh, sort of a rebirth, no, and uh, we expect that uh, uh, peace, uh, security, and order uh, will improve, then uh, it's an opportune time. NEDA sees agriculture driving economic growth as a sector comprises over half of the region's economy. We see the agriculture sector as uh, the driver of uh, economic growth in the region going forward. No? Kasi 56% plus yung share of uh, agriculture uh, and fishery sector in the uh, um, GRDP, Gross Regional Domestic Product of uh, the region. So we see uh, a lot of potential in, uh, no, in uh, um, uh, crop production. In terms of infrastructure built out, NEDA has also mapped out the most number of projects in the country in ARMM. Under the Public Investment Program 2017-2022, a total of 22.15 billion pesos worth of projects are lined up for 2019 and 40.85 billion pesos for 2017-2022. Once the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao is finalized, the Bangsamoro Economic and Development Council will be constituted. And one of the issues the council will have to deal with is tax collection. The big problem as well in the Bangsamoro is a very poor collection record for internal revenues. Now the question is here really is the challenge for the Bangsamoro Transition Authority is to immediately collect local revenues. Another factor that will affect efforts to improve revenue collection will be the upcoming 2022 elections. With residents used to the slack off in tax collections, any political leader who will strive to impose taxation may have to spend considerable political capital to secure a victory. All of these require them transforming a lot of informal enterprises into formal enterprises, actually. The big challenge is to convince firms that actually exist in the shadow sector to formalize themselves. Unless they're able to do that, those firms will continue to not pay taxes. With a host of challenges the Bank Samoro needs to surmount, some experts doubt if the measure is indeed what Mindanao needs. I don't think there is such a thing as a silver bullet here in the case of uh, the conflicts in Mindanao. Uh, you know, maybe it does not benefit all of the Muslim groups. So among themselves, as we have seen, there has been, been rivalry. Uh, and we can't satisfy everybody, definitely. You know? uh, so uh, whether it will solve the big problems in Mindanao, turning it into the promise into reality, it remains a big question mark. Challenges notwithstanding, the ARMM has been showing signs of progress recently. In 2017, the region's economic growth shot up to 7.3% from 0.4% the prior year, beating the national average and ranking sixth among regions. One year may not a growth trend make, but for a region starved of opportunities, it may still be an opportunity to build on a promise nonetheless. Bim Santos, We Are One News.